Hello, um, this is a, a new tutorial where I will be creating a uh, watch clock or a clock watch that uh, looks something like this. Um, basically it's gonna be uh, the, arrow, the lines are gonna point uh, according to the current time. Uh, the, this is the European standard. I think this is the European standard but uh, most European countries use this uh, and the so if it's 17, uh, 26, there's the 20, it's at 26, and there's the second, the second line, the second line uh, goes accordingly to this time, and this is what we will be creating today. Um, so we'll just start with a new uh, GTK Sharp project, and we will call this uh, clock to tutorial or we can we can just copy this and in, in here in the location and then create as a project um, all right um, so the first thing we could do is go to main window and to the designer and here and we can actually just start this project right away in the see that it w the window itself works and um, now we're going to create a fixed um, field here and we're going to position a uh, drawing drawing area here and we'll change this to drawing area with a big A in there and um, we will put width at 200 and height also at 200 um, put it up here somewhere and we will also create a label for the to see the time so we can have a reference so we know that what we're creating is uh, is accurate and um, Okay, um, we're doing this uh, in the in the drawing area, so we will be able to easily position this in other places if we have to. So we don't create it somewhere and then somewhere on the fixed area, and then we have to like reprogram it. Um, and also, I forgot to mention that um, you have to know like basic knowledge of C sharp at least, so you're you're not a beginner. So. Uh, now we're going to create a new class so if we go to the clock tutorial and we this is the project and then add uh, a new file and an empty class that we call watch clock and then just new so it also create a namespace um, for some reason uh, the constructor we don't need it in this case we could have we could use it but uh, we're not going to use it in this type uh, in in this tutorial um, and uh, now we are going to create a um, uh, a, a draw ring uh, where we will put our first uh, vectors uh, drawing method um, we will also have a GDK uh, oops draw that's right we, we need the um, Oh, the, 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 I'm sorry, DGK window, yes, and call it uh, drawing area. This is the parameter that we will need eventually. Uh, area, there we go. And uh, now we'll have to create Cairo, and this is where we will have to edit reference to include the mono Cairo uh, that I assume you're ha you have. In your when you downloaded the mono here it is okay and um, so we will have to be using it we have to import 
uh, Cairo and uh, don't forget to save once in a while I'll just press Control S so but you can save like save all um, so uh, now we create the Cairo contact uh, context and we will call it ring it's not really a ring it's like ring with the um, uh, with vectors with vector lines you know of vector lines anyway uh, and we'll create a that in the GTK uh, Cairo helper and then create oops, create and in this one we will be using the drawing area that we will be feeding to through the um, th through the methods uh, parameter like like an argument uh, and then the semicolon and now we will have to create a point d and we'll call it point one and point two and those points will be a new point uh, d that will be at 85 pixels well not really pixels but uh, I don't really know exactly it's a double it says but anyway Eighty-five point zero, and the second point, oops, will be uh, new point D, and this will be at ninety ninety-five point zero, and and we this will create a small line. You you will see it when I actually create this. So we will use the ring object and uh, we'll set the anti-aliasing actually we'll have to create an anti-aliasing uh, a main anti-aliasing variable or object uh, so we will create a public anti-aliasing uh, anti-alias I'm sorry anti alias uh, call it universal anti-a and then anti-alias and take the default one uh, so we don't so we have a we can just change one variable later on it everything in the uh, in, in the project all the project will show that it, whether, whether it will have the anti-aliasing or will, will not have an anti-aliasing anti-aliasing I'm sorry I'm sorry about the pronunciation uh, uh, but uh, here we'll continue creating uh, the ring anti-alias uh, universal uh, anti-aliasing and ring translate um, we will have to position this in the middle so because the window we create the little drawing area we created was 200 so we have to be in the middle so it's half so it's about 100 right um, so the ring rotation we will add this later but the rotation I will first of all I will put this to zero but I will um, I will create some I will create a loop later on but I will show you first how the, the line is created um, so the line width uh, line oh sorry the ring and uh, line width will be 4 and um, then we'll start drawing from move to point 1 and then ring line to po point point oh, point 2 uh, the IntelliSense isn't working <laughs> as great as in Visual Studio, but it is what it is. Um, and in the next tutorial, uh, I will continue the video in the next tutorial.